What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, you can and enjoy my content. You can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, caps, blue, sag, everybody in between. Double keep the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. This is a um, free general collective reading for all signs. Um, this is daily key for today, so it's a general current pulling on the energy. Um, it's supposed to resonate within three days, but it might resonate outside the three-day range. Just saying, just saying. Um, love you guys. We're 13,340 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you, um, you like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. And as always, if you enjoy my content um, and you haven't subscribed, you can smash the sub. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so here's the deal for today uh re receiving okay so i received that channel message that other readers are taking the secret seven reigns basically but last night i after we um uh, shot the video i told you guys we were doing cooking channel starting a new cooking channel and we're doing videos uh right now we're in the process of making videos editing them for the cooking channel for me and my son after that i got the secret seven download I got about four times last night, and I was like, well, I'm not putting it out because uh, I was told by the Spirit, I, I'm not in Secret 7 no more. So, I held out. Well, this morning, I got it three more times, and I heard the last one I heard put it out. So, I'm putting it out. I mean, I, you know, the spiritual realm's calling. I'm going to do it. I was holding off and holding off and holding off, but I heard specifically the last time to put it out. So, there's a reason I have been told to put it out, so I'm putting it out. It is what it is. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So, one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, okay? All right. I'm honestly pretty tired to talk about this shit, but um, I was told by a spiritual realm to put it out, so I'm putting it out. Secret 7 should never happen, and I'll say it again. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Okay. So, the channel message I received was um, the Secret 7, and I did hear Secret 7. The Secret 7 is completely out in um, in the original city, completely out. Um, I heard all over the city and all, all over area. All over the city and all over the, well, I heard areas. All over the city and all over the areas. So, it is out, 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 like. It was out, it's been out for years, um, very public. Um, readers, I mean, so much so people, readers were trying to steal my Secret 7 content last year during Lionsgate. That bad, I had to get a copyright. Um, I didn't have to, I just felt like I needed to. I mean, it was that bad. Uh, so it's been all out over, across the spiritual realm, of, of course, but the primary city and areas. So here, here in Huntsville. Um, because that's this is where the original Secret Seven took place. Um, someone's getting a huge wake up call. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. I mean, I, I'm serious. Um, now there was a Secret Seven in Texas, and they did. Um, they took they took action on my shit. Of course, it wasn't near like it was the one here. It was different. And then there was a Secret Seven in New York, and that shit was fraud. So I don't know, but. Um, but however that resonates, um, it's out. It is out, out, out. And there was a reason I was told to put it on here, so I am. I'm going to do another reading after this just to pull y'all's energy. I'm honestly sick and tired to talk about this shit. And I was very, very happy when I got the message about the Secret Seven Reigns were in the hands of other readers. And I was serious about that because um, I'm sick and tired of talking about it. There's been talk, 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 but no action, no actual helpful action. And that's just the truth. But there's a reason I was told by Spiritual Realm to put it out. So I am. Um, but I heard it's out, 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 out. It is about to benefit you in a huge, 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 huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge, 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 huge way. So whoever you are, it's about to benefit you in a huge, 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 huge way. The Secret 7 being out, 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 out. There was a gag order put on the city not to speak about it. But it is out, and it since it's out, it's going to continue to be out. The gag order should have never been put on. 
not to speak about it. There's about to be a huge, 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 huge investigation regarding this. Huge. And it's not going to go well for the people that handled it the way they did. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So, um, there was a huge, there was a gag order apparently put on, um, at the city. So, I'm assuming here, because this was the primary city for Secret 7. Even though it went other places, we combated the hidden camera shit and about 2,000, well, not about 2,000, about 1,000 of you guys. When I went full time with this last summer, text me pictures of the um, cameras and the devices and all that shit that was just going rampant everywhere. And I'm glad we were combating this crap. And we still have been combating it, but uh, with the hidden cameras and crap. But it hasn't been near as bad as it was last summer, thank God. When it Because it wasn't getting better here. It was just getting worse. Because um, they wasn't taking the proper actions and they needed to take. And that's just the truth. But anyway, so... I heard it's out. It is completely out in the city, so it's out here in this city. Um, I, I've been in hermit mode, so I don't know. I've been in hermit mode, but enjoying life and enjoying um, time with my kids now. So I don't know because <laughs> I'm not in the workforce and I'm not out. In this, I mean, I go out in the city, uh, provide people services. We go out to eat, but I don't have friends um, or frenemies or what have you, what have like, and I. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. Nobody speaks to me, so. Except for spiritual realm, so through psychic intuitive messages. So, I guess that, I don't know. There was a reason I was told to put this out, so I am. So, but anyways, um, it's out. I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way, whoever you are. Um, and, um, I heard there was a gag order put on the city, so this city, I'm presuming, not to speak about it in the city, but I heard it's fully out now and the gag order should have never been placed for it not to be spoke about in the city. And I heard now there's about to be a huge, huge, huge investigation regarding it and it's about to benefit you in a huge way. And honestly, yeah, because there shouldn't, I mean, you shouldn't put gag orders. That's like blackmail. That's like a huge dose of blackmail on a city. People have already started doing things they would have never done regarding the Secret Seven, and there are more people are about to. They realized it was hugely wrong, and it was. Confirmation for my kitty. People have already started doing things they never thought they would do regarding the Secret Seven, and more people are about to. They realized it was hugely, hugely, hugely wrong. So people are getting wake-up calls. I'm presuming in this city, because I heard the primary city, the original city for Secret 7 was here. Even though Secret 7 affected many cities and many people, the original one was here, which started the Hot Mess Express. And I'm just being for real. Um, so, so I'm assuming people here in this city or people in general, I don't know, you plug it in how it resonates, have already started doing things they wouldn't have normally, normally done regarding the Secret 7. And I heard more about to. So you plug it in however that resonates and applies in one's life. By the way, I want to say real quick before I get more channelings. Um, my business cards are supposed to um, have ordered um, 4,000 more. No, sorry. No, not. Yeah. Order 4,000 more. Yeah, four, four, 4,000 more. Uh, I almost said two, but I think it's four. Either two or 4,000 more. I think it's four. But anyways, they're supposed to be here like, let's see. The 19th, um, or I'm sorry, the 18th, the 18th. The last time I received my shipment, shipment of business cards early, like four days early. So if this time it's four days early, it'll be on Thursday and I'll put them out. I'm so excited. I just want to tell everybody that. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. Oh, um, yeah, so. Because I'm really, I, I love doing this for you guys, and I'm going to expand it out. And, I'm, of course, you know, we're doing more channels, more ideas. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, the, it, it's nothing up but the sky, baby. It's nothing up for the sky. Any, I just want to throw this out here, too. No matter what your dreams, your aspirations, your career plans, your career paths, your business plans, whatever they are, don't ever get yourself down. Yes, you'll have about 10 steps back, probably, because people, there's haters going to hate, and that's just the truth. But don't ever let that kind of negativity or hate or um, negativity 
stop you. Because there's a reason people don't want you to succeed. If you don't, uh, if you don't uh, succeed, get yourself up and try again, try again, try again. Just if anybody needs to hear that. And I, I mean, I'm serious. So if anybody, I mean, I have utilized that many times in my life. I am a fight. I'm, I'm not like a physical fighter, but I am a willpower kind of fighter. And I always have been. Um, and I love my life and I love my kids. And I have so many ideas and places and things I want to do in life. Um, and I hope you guys do too, you know. So I just want to put that out there. Let me see if I hear anything else regarding this. I'm so sick of tired talk, tired and talk about this shit. And I'm just being for real. Um, yes, uh, I did get some questions the other day. Somebody private uh, texted me. They didn't say I couldn't put it on publicly. Um, and I had somebody in the comment section a, a few weeks ago ask me. So I'm just going to put this out publicly too. Um, yes, I am in the process of writing a book for the Secret 7. But I'm not going to rush that crap. I'm not rushing it because I'm doing other stuff right now. And like I said, I have my um, court date on 7 15 of 2022 for the child custody battle hearing for my kids um, on, on 7 15 on Friday. So I'm not, you know, one thing at a time here. My kids are my everything. So I'm, of course, definitely not going to pick up the notepad and start the book again. Not during this crap, and that's just the truth. Um, because my kids are my everything, and that's just the truth. Um, anybody doesn't know, my goals are to win my kids back on Friday. We're currently in the McClendon, McClendon standard right now. For anybody didn't know, we're in the McClendon standard right now. Friday's the court date. Win my kid, custody of my kids back because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I love my kids with everything in me. Period, point blank, bar none. Two, um, uh, two to um, renovate my home, which I'm in the process of doing that right now. Three, um, move out of this state um, because I'm not growing and manifesting here the way I should be to be a independent, sufficient single mother for my children. So I need to go a place that I will be. And that's just the truth for me and my kids. And that's just the truth. So, um, those are my three goals for anybody didn't know. Those are my three goals. Um, and so, yeah, just saying, just saying. Um, anybody doesn't know, there's a history um, there between the court battles. This is not the first rodeo with um, my ex-husband. This is actually like court date number five, maybe six or seven. It's at least five for anybody didn't know. Um the first couple times were child support adjustments back when I became an RN. I was licensed at 13. I started working at 14 shortly after I started, got my first nursing job at 14. He took me back for child support adjustments. A couple of them actually. Before his wife, his wife uh, now, they've been together a while, like a decade. Uh, before she became an RN. I was an RN first. So um, they took me back, or he took me back for child support adjustments, which I understood that. But then it got crazy. Then it got crazy. Um, when I had a boyfriend, which the last boyfriend I had was about six years ago, back when we were dating, he was so mad about that. He manipulated my daughter. She was about 10 at that time. And ha he had strategically bought her a device at that time um, and had her walk around my rented home at the time, which I've been in this home for five years in the city. But back then, six years ago, when I lived in the country, um, he had her walk around with the device he had just bought her, the phone, and had her take photos of my boyfriend at the time's belongings in a drawer that I'd had him put in a drawer for him. He lived 45 minutes from me in a town called Madison, um, and I lived in the country. Um, and had him take pictures of, like, toothbrush, and toothpaste, and razors of his to prove as evidence for law that he lived with me, basically. He went through that great of lengths to manipulate my daughter to do that. And she was like 10 at that time. That's terrible. That's terrible. You should never manipulate kids, period, point blank, to do the bidding of your adult selfishness. Um, and that's just the truth. But he did. So, um, but it wasn't true. It wasn't true. He didn't live with me. So, 
Um, but he tried real hard. He wanted evidence, 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 because he kept saying I was contempt of court. I was breaking the papers. I was breaking the papers because my papers state that um, unless you're married, you can't have anybody um, staying with you unless you're married or you have a partner. I mean, I'm sorry, or it's a family member or something like that. Um, well, um, I don't speak my toxic ass family and I'm not married, um, but I don't have people live with me. And that's just the truth. And I didn't back then. I told him that and he didn't believe me. So, um, but there's, I mean, and that's just the truth. So he did. And he had her go around with the device, um, um, streaming with the streaming device, uh, video camera streaming in my rented house about six years ago. Um, and it was quite weird and creepy. And I told her, no, no, that he, I don't want to look up and see you with the video camera with his face right there. I mean, who wants to see their ex-husband on the video camera? And she was walk, strategically walking around my house, but he was telling her to do it. I think to see if anybody was living in my house or if there was any men's stuff in there or what have you, what have you. I mean, why else would he have done that? You see what I'm saying? So that's just a little history, back history. So if anybody just keep me in your thoughts, prayers, and well wishes, I'd very much appreciate it because that's just the history I've had to deal with with this person. Um, there's a huge reason why we're divorced, and that's some reasons, um, just to let everybody know, okay? Let me see if I hear anything else. I'm so sick of talking about the damn secret seven, and that's just the truth. Now, that next time I want to talk about it is in this book, and that's just the truth. I'm tired of talking about it on here. Many, 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 many shocking series of chain events are about to occur with uh, this situation very soon. People have been strategically holding back the fact that it's well out in the city, but everybody knows now, and now everybody knows. Every, every, everybody knows. Communication's about to go like wildfire. Wild fire. It cannot be hidden. Okay, I heard, um, so communication is about to go like wildfire, cannot be hidden. Apparently, they were trying to hold it from one person that it's out. The Secret Seven's like out, out, out in the city. Um, but apparently, the one person they were trying to strategically hold it from that it was out, out, out in the city, the person knows is what it sounds like. The person most certainly knows. It's about to be on like Donkey Kong. Okay, I heard it's the most, the person most certainly knows it's on like Donkey Kong. So the city was strategically trying to hold it back from one person, probably single mom Leo, probably me. And that's just the truth. Because, of course, single mom Leo is who they'd want to hold it back from with the original Secret Seven. Well, I'm single mom Leo. Uh, well, I know because I received it from the spiritual down uh, universe because the people in my city know that, hell, I'm a psychic and I've been having this channel for two and a half years. I held the Secret Sevens on here, documented in terror readings. And that's just the truth. So they were strategically hold, trying to hold it back from one person. Now, I'm feeling it's single mom Leo, i.e. me, but it could be somebody else. But whoever it is, whether it's me or somebody else, it's out, out, out now. I heard out. Um, and I heard communication is about to start going like wildfire. And people are about to start doing things they never thought they would do. Um... And people have already started doing things they never thought they would do regarding the Secret Seven being so publicly out. And some kind of communication is about to start going like wildfire. So you plug it in how it resonates. And several shocking series of chain events are going to occur with it too. So you plug it in how it resonates. I'm feeling that I feel in that Secret Seven city, but it could be people outside the Secret Seven city too. Um only you know your story, not anybody else. Only you know if you're going to create these shocking series of chain events. Only you know if um, you are included in this Secret Seven hot mess outside the city, outside the state, outside the area, or not. Because there's, I mean, everybody outside the area, or not everybody, but a lot of people outside the Secret Seven primary area, i.e. Huntsville, Alabama, they know about it. It's just nobody's been talking to Single Mom Leo, i.e. me, about it. Um, and that's just the truth. But I heard there was a gag order in the city for it not to be strategically be talked about. But now the gag order has been um, 
it's either been lifted or broken or something. I don't know how the Secret Seven got out in the city, but it has. I don't know if somebody trumped that judge's order and made it go out or how it got out in the city, but it did get out. And it, I heard it's out, out, out now. So it sounds like everybody and their mom was talking about it or they were. Um, and it sounds like they're going to continue. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So whoever you are and how this applies. Things are about to start moving very, very, very fast. Things are about to start moving very, very, very fast. So you plug it in how it resonates. And stolen money has been exposed to people outside this city. And action's about to be taken. And stolen money has been exposed um, outside to people outside the city. And action is about to be taken, is what I just heard. Stolen money is about to be exposed, is, has been exposed. It has been exposed to people outside the city, so i.e. outside Huntsville, Alabama. Um, and action is about to be taken. So I'm assuming some kind of, I don't know if that's legal action or physical action or some kind of action, whatever that is. Um, I'm presuming probably legal action if somebody has stolen money. Um, absolutely freaking lately because that's terrible. You should never steal. Uh, we are taught that before you enter school, or if you have good parent or parents, you're taught that before you enter school at, at like three or four or five. And I'm serious. Thou shalt not steal. If anybody, anybody with Bible, thou shalt not steal. If anybody needs to hear that, someone's getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Oh God, I heard that. Huge. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. Huge. I'm serious for y'all Bible people. I'm not a Bible person, but I do believe in God. I'm very spiritual, but I'm not religious. Um, I'm not a Bible person. I do believe in some areas of aspects of the Bible, but anyways, I'm not getting off on that. But my point is, is um, thou shalt not steal. And I'm serious. I don't care if you're a Bible person or just spiritual or spiritual and religious or both. Thou shalt not steal. Somebody stole some money. Somebody's about to take some action. For some, this is not legal action. For some, it's legal action. For some, it's not. For some, this is legal action. For some, it's not. So for some, this is legal action. And for some, it's not legal action. So whatever action that is and how that applies. All right, I'm getting out of this. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day. Namaste.